Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gary with the Another Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video. Go ahead, smash that like button. Like the content of this channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe, man. Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis, especially now that we're into the football season. So, you like hearing about the Baltimore Ravens? Definitely go hit that subscribe button, man. So, what I want to talk about today is that the most important thing for the Ravens between now and Sunday is to me, it's just health. That's it. Because everything else is going to take care of itself, okay? Uh, outside noises and distractions, you guys got to tune them out. They already know that doesn't need to be said. And they're already going to be game planning, studying hard, working hard. The biggest thing is health, man. Because remember, this time last season, we know what happened, all right? Um, you know, with Marcus Peters, Gus Edwards, you know, J.K. Dobbins in the last pieces of the game. We know what happened. So this year, the Ravens are in a better position health-wise so far than last year. Now, they've done a lot of things to really accommodate and help that move forward. I remember Mark Andrews early in the offseason talking about how the Ravens kind of changed their training regimen, start listening to the players' bodies more, and then you get in the training camp. What do they do? They do uh, less padded practices, um, you know, a couple days on, a couple days off, get, a, get the players a rest, a lot more veteran rest days, rest days for guys who weren't even asking for it. Um, so just kind of trying to really do is what they do what they can what they can possibly do to get to week one as a healthy football team and to me that's the biggest thing right so between today wednesday and you know sunday it's about staying healthy man so obviously the Ravens are still going to practice hard still prepare hard but a lot of the stuff right now it's been installed is in it's about it's about the mental stuff right what can the ravens do can they succeed on third down can they succeed when they get the look that they want versus Jets, all right? Offense or defense, right? Can they succeed? Um, so when I look at this game coming up, if the Ravens can just uh, get through this week, right, and have the 53-man roster that they constructed, um, you know, at the end of training camp out there on the field, I like where we're at to start the season. Now, obviously, you know, they need to add outside linebackers and things like that. They added, they added a guy like Kyle Fackrell. Um, you know, a veteran presence. I believe he was on the Raiders before he got cut. I think he was on the, like the IR, got an injury, got an injury settlement. So now he was able to sign another team. So we'll see when he's available to play, right? But for the Ravens, they're going into this game versus Jets as a, as a favorite. And the only thing that can possibly knock them down is, you know, guys are not ready to play, and I just don't see that happening. So at least at least mentally. Now physically, it could be a different thing, right? That's why I'm saying, like, the most important thing for the Ravens this week, um, from today practice leading up, is just about getting to that week one healthy, man. You know, last year, seeing what happened with, you know, the guys on the last couple of days, right, 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 right before we go into Oakland, and, uh, oh, sorry, not Oakland, Las Vegas, and um, just seeing those injuries pour through, right? We're still confident the team was going to win the game. It didn't happen, but, you know, the Andrews obviously played a huge part in that. So for the Ravens, they've done all they could, right? They they changed up, they changed up different things. They've had the guys in positions to be successful. Now it's just about hopefully you know the the buys can hold, can hold up. And injuries are completely random. You know, it's like it's hard to even talk about injuries and trying to prevent them because you know it's a random event. The Ravens were, I believe, like the most historically injured team um, last year. So. It was something that you almost couldn't control. But what they can control, they, they've done a good job and they pushed the guys forward. And, you know, we're starting to see the fruits of that, right? You know, Ronnie Stanley coming back. He's been activated off, of the, off the pup list. He finally practiced this week, right? I don't think that he'll play in the game, but it's good that he came back. They took it slow with Ronnie Stanley. That was the important part. Last year, it kind of felt like they rushed him back on the field or he rushed himself back on the field and he wasn't ready to go, right? That, has, that, that didn't happen this year. J.K. was the same way. J.K. wanted to be out there from day one of training camp. And they was like, nah, J.K., you can't do that. You're not ready. I mean, he was asking Pashadi, DaCosta, Harbaugh. He was asking everybody. And they told him, yo, not yet, not yet. We'll definitely get you out there. You're just not ready, not yet. All right? So they've done everything possible, you know, giving guys veteran rest days who not even asking for it. You know what I mean? Just rotating guys around padded practices on and off as i've said before you know these the Ravens have put themselves in the position to where they've done everything possible to get to week one healthy and then from now on 
You know, it's, it's what happens. What happens? What happened is what happens in the season. You feel me? Like it is what it is. So I feel confident that, that they've done everything possible to get the guys to week one in a in the best position possible to succeed. Now it's just about these last couple of days getting the game plan right and guys just you know being smart out there and you know getting getting ready for the New York Jets. Uh, the Jets going to have Joe Flacco starting, so we're going to get to see Flacco play again. As Ravens fans, we know what he means to this organization, but, you know, this ain't the same Joe Flacco, you know. Obviously, right now he's 30-plus, and, um, you know, I, I like our chances with these Ravens defense against Joe Flacco. But at the end of the day, between now and Sunday, right before kickoff, it's all about health and recuperation for this Boston Ravens team. If they get to week one healthy, it's going to be a very, very good result for the Ravens, so I'm excited about that. Um... That's my biggest thing for this week so far, man. Just get to week one healthy because after what happened last year, that's really the main thing in my mind is that this team has the talent to be a a 12-13 win team. I think that's their ceiling, you know, 12-13 wins. Uh, and, you know, at the at the minimum, they're going to win double-digit games this year. So they should go 10-7 and seven minimum. Okay. Uh, only thing that can hold them back, you know, is, is is little mistakes here and there. Maybe dropping games versus teams that they're better than, which we've seen before in the past. You know, it has it's not a completely unprecedented thing for the Ravens. But mainly, I hate I would hate to see injuries get in the way of what this team could be again. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so you know, we'll be speaking that into this is into existence that that's not going to happen. And the coaching staff, the training staff, we got to give John Harbaugh credit. Uh, he saw what happened last year, and they changed up. They switched it up, man. They did some things differently. And you got to give a little bit of credit for seeing when something is wrong and, and, and fixing that issue. So hopefully this issue doesn't rear its ugly head again and it stays resolved and that the Ravens come into this game versus the Jets uh, as healthy as they can be and ready to roll because if they do, it could be another – uh, how we open the season versus the Dolphins in 2019 kind of beat down, man. That's what, I, that's what I'm hoping for, right? So that's my most important thing from now until Sunday. Uh, you know, you guys definitely like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what your most important thing is between now and Sunday for the Ravens. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk about it in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.